seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this showcase video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. In front of you is Gash Knack Goldtooth, the leader of the Bad Moon Broken Tooth tribe. Yes, my tribe finally has a true leader. Uh, yeah, I've already got many other HQ characters. I've got Weird Boy. I've got several big mechs. I've got a couple of war bosses, all finished, painted up. But I've never had like the true boss, the actual boss. Uh, the reason for that being, I wanted to convert something unique. I wanted to have something that just sort of I knew what I wanted in my mind. I knew the type of character I wanted um, and I knew how I kind of wanted to represent that. Um, and I was looking at avenues of like third party bits and conversion bits and stuff and, you know, things to base it on. Uh, I did toy with the idea of basing it on, a, on an ogre body at one point. Uh, but then GW came out with this miniature, the Orc Mega Boss kit, uh, which I really, really liked. Um, but, as you can see, uh, I have done a, a minor kit bash uh, conversion on this fella. Uh, it's basically just a head swap. That's all I've done. Uh, there was a little bit of work needed to do in that. Um, it, it didn't fit quite right, so I had to kind of file things down a bit and, you know, just sort of do a little bit of work to get it to fit. Um, but, yeah, managed to get it done. Uh, in doing so, I did actually cause a little bit of damage. You'll see from his head, he's got like a like a necklace hanging down with some sort of trophies. He's got like a, a hair squig, a skull and some bones hanging off that and teeth and trinkets and stuff. Um, and I didn't want to lose that bit. I liked the look that gave the sort of, it gave it a bit of a look of motion. Um, so I wanted to keep that. And so I, I um, when dry fitting this together to make sure it all fit and everything it, it fit okay i did have to file down the back of it a bit just to make sure it kind of it fit because the way the axe comes across um but i had to paint this fella in sub assemblies so i dry fit it all together worked fine uh, once i painted him and then started putting the bits back together he decided that he, he wasn't going to fit anymore um, and it was a bit of a squeeze and I had to be really careful because I'd lovingly painted this fellow. I didn't want to damage the paint job that I'd worked so hard on. Um, but yeah, it, what happened is the necklace snapped. Um, so actually one of the strands of the necklace on one side is actually damaged. Um, and I don't know if I'll just turn it up. You probably can't really see, but just on, there you go. You can kind of see that it's not connected there, but if I hadn't have done that, you would never have known. Um, so rather than repair it, I've just accepted it. Um, and to be honest, it was probably pretty silly of me to show you really, because then you would have never been aware. Um, but there you go. Um, so yeah, um, like I say, a minor conversion. Um, I was going to do something much more extravagant and sort of change, but th this fella just kind of embodied everything I wanted. Um, I wanted a real bad-tempered, um, nasty, savage brute of a boss um, to lead this tribe. And in typical Bad Moon style, he had to have all the best gear and be flashy. Um, so a suit of mega armor had to be, you know, it, it had to happen. Um, the Ouge Chopper is awesome. Um, and I like the Grot Gunner on top. Now, um, my good pal Dim has um, chastised me for not removing the Grot on top. Uh, one part of this miniature he absolutely hates. The reason being, uh, the way the big shooter is positioned on this fella and the boss pole, that, that gun cannot swivel. Um, the Grot, you know, he's going to be a bit of a squeeze if he wants to turn that gun to shoot anywhere other than to that one side, um, which I get. Um, and I do agree with, it is a strange sort of way they've done that. They could have done a better job of that. But do you know what? I like the little fella up there. I think he's quite cute and cool. Um, and yeah. So painting wise, uh, what have I done? I've done what I always do. Um, he's stuck to the limited colour palette. Um, I've, uh, yeah, used the same colours that I always use across all my army. Um, it's the uh, the yellow, the black, little touches of gold. Um, I've given given him a gold tooth, as you can see. I wonder if we can zoom in on that. There you go. Yeah, so he's got the gold tooth. 
uh, to fit his name. Um, we'll keep that zoomed in actually for a bit to show you this stuff. Um, he's got little flashes of colour, little red loincloth there. Um, and you can see on his axe, he's got the blood splatters on there. That is the Army Painter um, Glistening Blood effects paint. I love that stuff. Gives a really good look. Um, what else can we look at around about? You see all the battle damage I've added. Um, it's a very old school method of adding battle damage on the yellow armour. It's just a little bit of black paint and then a little bit of silver paint over the top in pick out certain areas. On the black armour, it's just the silver paint. Uh, really simple, easy way to add battle damage. Um, turn around and see all the cabling and stuff I've done. And yeah, that's that, that's that's it really. Um, it's like I say, nothing um, different from what I uh, what I usually do. I'll zoom that back out. Um, but yeah, um, overall, pretty happy with him. Uh, he's not perfect. There are some little imperfections and things, um, but that, that's true of all my paint jobs. Um, also, uh, it, it is definitely confirmed. I am the world's slowest painter. You would not believe how long I've been working on this guy. Um, a very, very, very long time. Um, a big reason for that was because was he was sitting half finished for like six months. Um, but even once I did crack on, I, I've been working away on him for a while. I've been chatting to the, some of the other guys in the 40k or community on Discord while I've been painting this guy. Progress has been slow. Uh, in the time of my absence from the hobby, my sort of six month break, uh, I've not got any quicker. In fact, if anything, I've got a lot slower. Could you believe it? Um, but yeah, there you go. This is Gashnak Goldtooth. Um, so what's happening for this guy in the future? Well, I'm working on some sort of law for my tribe. Uh, I've been sort of sketching little ideas and things. I've got a lot of the law in my head. Um, what I really need to do is get it down on paper. Um, and I'd love to present that law to you guys in the future. So that's a little project, a sort of long-term project I'm working on. Um, and I couldn't really do that until I had the boss done. But now he's done. My army is, it feels more complete now, now that I've got this guy. I've got sort of key characters within the army. I've got um, Gashnak here, um, I've got uh, my big mech and my weird boy, um, along with other HQs, but they all sort of uh, play key roles within the army. They've all got their own stories. Uh, and I really want to flesh that out and sort of, you know, come to you with some good lore content, you know, showing you the story of my tribe, uh, how it grew, how it came to power, how Gashnak came to power, and uh, who they're battling, uh, across the galaxy and stuff like that. So it'll be a real fun project to get into. Um, in terms of hobby, I'm also working on other projects at the moment. I've got other things on the painting desk. Um, I was putting a bit more paint on my squig off recently, so I'm hoping to get that done soon. I've got a pain boss I'm working on, uh, some commandos. Yeah, quite a bit going on. Um, I wouldn't expect anything too soon because uh, each project takes me weeks and weeks and weeks to complete. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, share your thoughts in the comments section below, guys. I'd love to know. Um, oh, I've, before I do that, I haven't even said where the head came from, have I? Yeah. Um, God, the panic. Um, <laughs> the head, you can see, uh, that is, most of you would have recognised it by now if you play Age of Sigmar. That is from the uh, Moor Crusher kit from AOS. I think his name is Gordrag, and uh, yeah, he comes from the Moor Crusher kit. Now, that's a really expensive kit, uh, and I was tempted to get the kit just to get hold of this head, but that would be a lot of money to spend for just getting one war boss head. Uh, but I did consider getting the kit and then using the Moor Crusher to turn into a squig off. That would have made quite a cool conversion, but money was a bit tight. Uh, so I asked out in the community if everyone had anyone had a spare one of these heads and luckily enough a kind member of the community uh, volunteered and said they got one and would be happy to send it to me and uh, yes yeah, so I thank you very much to that person I'm very sorry I can't remember your name it was like almost a year ago now that it was sent to me um, but massively appreciate it because um, it's the perfect head for my boss I'm absolutely in love with it I, I just love how brutally savage and just gruesome he looks and he looks terrifying that he's even got like see here he's got like a bit of his skull exposed from a previous injury um also 
really like. I always paint my orc eyes red, but I love how I gave this guy like a, a sort of a, a washed out eye, like it's all, um, I don't know what's the, I don't know what the terminology is for it, but it's all kind of, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's he's kind of suffered some serious head injuries and it's had, it's had effects on him, um, but we'll go into that more in the future when I sort of uh, go into the, the law side of things. But anyway, I have um, messed up this video enough. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I'm going to bring it to a close. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check all the links below. I've got links to other Orc YouTube channels, awesome ones, which you should definitely check out. I've got a Goblin Gaming affiliate link. If you want to support the channel, you can buy your stuff through there, save a lot of money. A little bit of that money comes towards the channel. It doesn't cost you any extra. Alternatively, I've got a Patreon link, which you can go to to also support the channel. Uh, but otherwise, just leave comments, hit the like button, subscribe. I'd love to get your feedback on this miniature. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. This is Gashnap Goldtooth and Six Plus Stevo signing out.